Okay, so we got a bowling ball. It's rolling uh, 3.2 meters per second. So there it is. Okay, so what is its translational kinetic energy? Right. Um, well, translational kinetic energy to, to translate is to um, just to move to the side. Okay, so these particles have a rotational kinetic energy and a translational kinetic energy. The translational is um, just the regular stuff that we did, right? So Ke is one half mv squared. We did this a few chapters ago. So let's figure that out. It's one half 4.5 times 3.2 squared. Let's figure that out. 0.5 times 4.5 times 3.2 squared is 23.04. There we go. Uh, what is its uh, rotational kinetic energy? Oh, well, rotational kinetic energy is tough, right? That's going to be one half i omega squared, right? Well, a bowl, a bowling ball, right, uh, is going to be two fifths. Uh, so it's going to be one half. The moment of inertia is two fifths times the mass, four point five. And you see that's its radius, right? So it's 0.15, right? So the, the substitution I'm making is I is 2 fifths mr squared, right? I'm plugging that in there, right? And then omega is, if we do omega, um, omega, is, uh, omega is V over R, isn't it? Is that right? Yeah, because V is omega R, right? So omega is V over R. So the... Um, Angular velocity is 3.2 divided by 0.12, and then square that, right? Why is that 0.15? Isn't that 0.12? There we go. Notice that there's a 0.12 here that it actually would cancel. I'm not going to do that, but uh, there it is. Okay, so let's see. So I'm going to go 0.5 times 2 divided by 5 times 4.5 times 0.12 squared times 3.2 squared divided by 0.12 squared. I'm getting 9.216 uh, joules, and that's <clears throat> that's my rotational kinetic energy. All right, let's see. What is it? If it rolled from rest down a hill, how high is the hill? Mm. Well, um, don't we know that the MGH would just be the kinetic energy, right? Okay. <clears throat> but it would be the sum of this energy and this energy, right? So I'm going to go 4.5 times 9.8 times the height, right, is equal to 23.04 plus 9.216 joules, right? Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go that guy plus this guy, and I've got 32.256 is 4.5 times 9.8 times h. So I'm going to divide by 4.5, divide by 9.8, and I get that the height of the hill is 0.7314. Meters. Wow, did we get, oh, the total energy. What's its total kinetic energy? I guess we, that's the total kinetic energy. I never found that. But there it is, right? All right. I think we got everything. Okay. <clears throat>